Welcome to Benjamin Obdike's Test House. Today, we're gonna to look at the features and benefits of exterior foam and how to integrate it properly with your WRB. Due to the 2021 IRC code change, we are now looking at an increase of exterior insulation being installed in climate zones four and above. The main purpose for this exterior insulation is to increase the thermal resistance of the building envelope and reduce the thermal bridge of our framing material. As we increase the thermal resistance of the building envelope with continuous insulation, it's more important to look at the layering of the assembly to ensure that we're gonna have proper drainage for moisture to escape the assembly and increase the longevity of our cladding by using a rain screen or a drainable space. For this installation, we're going to be using our HydroGap SA that's installed directly to our sheathing. And then we're going to install our continuous insulation over top. And with this window detail, we are going to use an Audi window. So essentially, we are building out our rough opening to accept the nailing flange of the window. And with this, we used our HydroFlash LA to complete a, com a entire rough opening seal that's going to be for air and water infiltration. And one of the details that I want to draw attention to is our top flashing detail. We want to make sure we can continue to have a shingle overlap that's going to allow for any water to escape the assembly and not enter that rough opening. So one thing to look at as we're choosing to use an exterior insulation is how are we protecting that sheathing? So with HydroGap, we're creating a one millimeter space behind the exterior foam. This is gonna allow for any incidental water that gets past that foam to quickly drain out. However, it's not a big enough gap to reduce the R value of that foam. And that's one of the advantages to having HydroGap behind. And now we are protecting our sheathing and framing layer from any water that were to get through. So now we have the exterior insulation installed over top of our HydroGap SA. So that's gonna create that drainage path behind the exterior foam. And now any of our cladding fasteners, or if we were using a furring strip rain screen, will seal around any of those penetrations that go through our HydroGap SA. And this is very critical because if water were to get past this foam, there's no drying potential back there. So we have to make sure we can give it a path to escape. And now we have our window installed in an Audi orientation, which means that the exterior of the window is now flush with the exterior foam. So with this, we have our thermal bucks that we're moving out. So that's bringing the window out to this exterior plane. And now recognize the challenge with this detail with an Audi install is that we're going to have an interior extension jam that we're going to have to uh, build out for that interior trim detail versus if we were to go with an any window that would put our window inside of this rough opening and in line with our plane so a couple different options as we're looking at this exterior foam and how to properly integrate it to make sure we are water and airtight with this installation we're going to be installing the foam directly over top of our sheathing then we're going to be installing our hydrogap sa over top this is going to create a one millimeter drainage path directly behind the cladding itself that way any of the cladding fasteners that go through the hydrogap are going to seal around those penetration points and with this Audi installation detail, we now have our WRB in line with our nailing fin and our flashing detail.
As we continue to increase our energy efficiency, it's important to balance out our moisture management. This can be achieved with HydroGap SA as we create a drainage path either behind our exterior foam or behind our cladding. And with this, we wanna make sure that we keep a continuous line from our water control to our flashing details with our windows and doors. Thank you for joining us at Benjamin Obdike's Test House, where we strive to help you build better.